I've been tired for the longest time from these critics, these blue check marks, these people that create false hype for these Marvel movies, these shills. I have, I don't know if this has ever been done before, but this is the first time I'm doing it on Jody's Corner. It's time to hold these fools accountable because these people who make these this false hype and they lie about these movies, they don't ever get called out on their BS, but we're calling them out today. Let's get up into it. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. was good it's your boy jody joe welcome to jody's corner many people saw that the rant that i put on youtube and people oh man what do you mean everybody hates it what are you talking about you guys are weird we're talking about the people the shills the ones who get early access to these movies weeks ago who saw ant-man way before it came out and then they the ones that put the buzz behind ant-man calling it a good movie most of the reviews of the early reactions for ant-man and the wasp were positive in nature and if you don't believe me, we're about to go back in time. Shout out to the internet. Nothing's really erased. We're going to go back in time and look at some of these fools that was actually shilling. And then we'll just uh, see. This is going to be funny. Let's, let's get them into it. Look, Hollywood Reporter, Marvel's Ant-Man of the Wasp, Quantumania. The first reactions from the world premiere. Look at the... the it hits in, in February 17th, but this article came out February 6th. You see that? The movie came out on the 16th, which is Thursday previews. This is 10 days, almost two weeks before the movie released in theaters. Here's what some of your blue check marks and some of these false hype makers, these woke, trash people have to say. Let's take a look. I don't know what, what all these say, but look, let's go to Eric Davis. He says, Phase 5 has begun. The new Ant-Man movie is like a psychedelic roller coaster full of frightening and hilarious oddities, plus one very menacing cane. Big Star Wars vibes meet the MCU at its freakiest and most inventive. Ooh, the MCU's most inventive. Modoc is a riot, but Jonathan Majors conquers. Loved the ride. Once again, take a look at this fool shilling out here, bro. Hey, man, what is you talking about? We seen the movie. It seems like what he's describing this movie to be is completely different than the movie we actually saw. Why would he do that? Oh, I understand. Because a lot of these people who go to these screeners and get this Disney Plus access, Disney access, they shill and they make positive, falsely positive reviews in order to keep their status and keep getting invited to these premieres. It's a very political, trash, fake system and uh, people are selling out. These are just people who sell out to bad movies. So this is a overwhelmingly positive review. Bro, uh, Mr. Eric Davis, I don't know what movie you saw, but it show a shit with that one. He says, a very menacing Kang, Cap, uh, big Star Wars vibes meet the, at the MCU at its freakiest and most inventive. Super Cap. Okay, I guess we're just going to it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look, he, he did a, a, a follow-up tweet. Definitely make sure you stay for the credits because there's significant things to... I really dug how Quantum Media is both part one of Phase 5, but also self-contained Ant-Man story. That's funny and sweet. Adventures kick butt. Michelle Pfeiffer's good stuff. <sighs> Just can't take it. Oh my God, I'm suck, sucking that thing off. Let's move on to this guy. Who is this? Fico. Another blue check mark says, Ant-Man Quantum Mania is the best of the trilogy. Higher stakes, dangers, and repercussions. It also got one of the best MCU villains in Kang. As soon as Jonathan Majors comes in, it's a show. Kang is scary. Lean, mean, multiverse, big baddie. Also, two, co two cool post credit scenes. It's almost like... Are y'all? What are y'all doing? It's when people read stuff like this, it, it, it creates that false hype, like oh, Ant Man and the Wasp, and then people go with their families to go see Ant Man and the Wasp, and then they're like, oh, that was okay, it was good, it was good. They tricked themselves into saying, then they go to YouTube, see people critic ranting on it because they're actually being real, using their critical eye, and then we're haters. We're haters because Mr. Blue Check Marks here, both of them said 
This is a fantastic Star Wars inventive, creative, Kang the Conqueror, menacing, thrilling, amazing ride. Cap. Let's move on. Oh, is that Brian Davis again? Let me see. Eric Davis. Okay, Brian Davis. Uh, there comes a point where every franchise has to get weird, and the MCU has done just that with Quantumania. Like all his other roles, Jonathan Majors remains endlessly compelling. This is a good one. Shout out to Brian Davis, right? Because here is a guy who doesn't shill for the movie like the others are, but the simple fact that he's not keeping it a hundred makes him shilling. He doesn't like the movie, and he uses wordplay to make it seem like there's hype. Because when you say MCU has done just that with Ant Man, overhype, uh, 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 there comes a point where it gets weird. Uh, like all his other roles, and then he brings up Jonathan Majors is endlessly compelling. So you're saying Ant Man Quantum Media is weird, and it gets to a point where MCU is like that. It's weird. Weird could be good or bad. And then he ends it with something very positive. Jonathan Majors is endlessly compelling, and he put two thumbs up. So, there's uh, levels to this shilling. Next one, Daniel Howitt says, Quantumania is definitely Marvel's weirdest movie yet, but that's a good thing! It leans hard into the sci-fi side of the MCU, taking lots of wild swings. Taking lots of wild swings. Yeah, finish it. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. It takes a lot of wild swings. I can't believe this was, that's a good thing, buddy. It leans into the hard sci-fi. And man, Quantum Mania is not sci-fi. It's just fi. Fiction. I don't see where people are saying this is a sci-fi film. It's contained into one world, and somehow that world seems kind of small and contained. And uh, I don't see the science behind anything in this movie. There was no explanations, no detail, no even no theoretical explanations. Like even theory could be considered science, right? Nothing. Just this is what it is. This is what it is. This is what it is. Man, that's fiction, bro. Miss me what you're talking about. Uh, more shilling. Uh, not everything lands, but it's funny. It's inventive. Second time we heard that word. And it's a good time. An enjoyable, bizarre ride into the quantum realm. It was an enjoyable, bizarre ride right down into the pits of hell. <laughs> enjoyable, bizarre ride? I don't know what movie you were watching, but you definitely shilling out here. Shill! Next. You want them tickets, huh, don't you, play? You want to get invited back, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, another blue check mark. Had a blast with Quantumania. Paul Rudd has never been better, and Jonathan Majors effortlessly conquers every second of screen time he gets. But the real star of the film is Jeff Loveness' script. <gasps> Oh, the Kashilin. The script was trash. The best thing was his script, a reminder of how beautifully strange and mysterious the MCU still is. <laughs> hey, bro, this is so much fun. Look at these fools. This is on the Hollywood Reporter's article. This is for the world to see, guys. This is, this is what Disney pays for. You understand me? He had a blast. He said Paul Rudd has never been better. Paul Rudd was sauce. This movie wasn't even about Paul Rudd. It was... He, Paul Rudd was barely a, a factor, narratively. Paul Rudd's best. Y'all have forgot that Ant-Man 1 is the best Ant-Man movie? I, I challenge you guys, go watch Ant-Man 1 again. And then you'll see a movie that's better than both of the other ones. This is crazy. Oh, this is great. Another blue check mark. She says, after a frustratingly rough act one, oh, Quantumania finally gets going. Only to end where the story should have began. Oh, I know what she means by that now. While the external stakes are clear and weighty, emotional drive felt slight. And lefty and lighter, that said, Jonathan Major's rule. See, this is an unbiased one. This is a pretty good one. Shout out to the woman to size you guys up. Y'all fools are shilling. This woman come out here and be like, blah, blah, hell. Hell no. To the no, no, no. They be shilling. Hey. So she said it leaves off where the movie should have started. What are we talking about here? Those end credits. I've said it. 
The end credits is what I thought the movie was going to be about. But you gave me this stupid haphazard adventure with a Modoc with a jelly bean roll that... I have holes! You gave me... Man. Good job on her, though. Uh, good job on her. Another blue check mark. Thanos was the appetizer while Jonathan Majors King the Conqueror is the main course. Oh! Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Thanos was the appetizer, while Jonathan Majors, Kang the Conqueror, is the main course. She, 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 she. Moving on. Blue check mark. Jonathan Majors is a force in Quantum Mania. <laughs> He's compelling, chilling, and already given a top notch performance. I love the complexity he brings. This this blue check mark fake woke agenda bullshit is making me sick to my stomach. We don't need you guys to say, look at the black man. Look how awesome the black guy is. Did I tell you that I voted and and, and rioted for George Floyd? Yeah. Black Lives Matter. This is all this is, bro. You guys are are patronizing the freak out of him, bro. And you're giving him pity pats. Jonathan Majors, as Kang the Conqueror, was okay. And there was a lot of scenes where he was cheesy and overreacting. I'm Kang the Conqueror! But that's a crazy and amazing performance. For so, uh... Don't patronize me. Starts phase five with a bang. Playing like Star Wars. Epic got you know what? I think I've proven my point. These are countless. These go all day long. <laughs> the shilling on a high level. This is the reason why I say what I say about these blue check marks, these fake sell out people who just want to get press access to the next Marvel production. I invite you guys to go yourselves. This thing is giving me a headache, bro. You, you, you got to really form around a creator who you trust and whose opinion you trust. When you just look at all these random false hype around the internet, it, it creates like, like mind control almost. Like, when you hear something is dope from everywhere you look on media, TV, Twitter, Instagram, and it's just hitting you with how dope Quantum Mania is, you're going to get psyched in your head like, yo, that man is going to be so dope. I can't wait. You generate false hype. You go into the movie and you give it excuses for why it's good because you've just seen a whole entire two weeks of people saying this movie's awesome. So if you don't think that the movie's awesome while you're watching it and you see like you don't feel a certain way, then you think in your head, well, everybody else thought it was awesome. I shouldn't feel that it's not awesome. Is something wrong with me? No, nothing's wrong with me. I think it's awesome too. Disney knows what they're doing and they are using these shields in order to mind control y'all, bro. <laughs> I'm keeping it a buck. Man, y'all let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this situation. Holding them accountable, I'm going to do this for every single MCU movie. I'm looking at you, Shields. I got my eye on y'all, bro. I'm about to call y'all out. So, here's to the next MCU movie where we see some more shilling later on. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out. Deuces.